In this tutorial, we'll see how to use datum points to post process in Altair SimSolid. Let's begin by opening a SimSolid project. Click on Open Project, select the file, and hit Open to load this project. This project has linear static model and uh, dynamic transient analysis that are already solved. Now let's see how to import datum points and use these datum points in these different analysis. Select Assemblies folder in the project tree. Click on Import Datum Points, Import from CSV, select the file, and hit Open to load these points. The coordinates of these loaded points are by default in millimeters, but uh, these can be changed to fit the model units. XYZ are the mandatory fields and the others are optional, and all the fields of this table are editable. If any point lies outside the model, the corresponding row is shown in red in the table and the point is shown in light blue in the graphics area and it's projected onto the nearest part. Let's edit the coordinates of this point to make it a valid one. Change the Y coordinate. This point is now a valid point and uh, all the valid points uh, of this set are shown in dark blue in the graphics area. Click on OK to accept this point set. This datum point set is now shown under assemblies folder in the project tree. This can be renamed or deleted. Multiple datum point sets can be imported for a design study. Let's import one more datum point set. Follow the same process as before. The second set is now shown. Now let's see how to use these datum points in different analysis. Let's begin by linear static. Click on structural one. Click on pick info. The response by default is set to displacement magnitude, but there are other responses available based on the analysis. For this tutorial, let's stick to displacement magnitude. Click on Choose Datum Point Set. All the available datum point sets will be listed here. Choose one of them. All the points of the set are listed here, and different responses for these points are listed on the right side of this dialog. And the chosen response displacement magnitude for all the points is shown in the graphics area. The selected point is shown in yellow color in the graphics area for ease of visualization. And the results for all these points can be saved to a CSV file if required. Let's close this and see how to use these datum points for model analysis. For model analysis, uh, these datum points can be used to export the model displacements to a UNV file. Bring up pick info dialog again. Choose the datum point set and uh, click on save to UNV to save uh, the model displacements to a UNV file. Now let's see how to uh, use these datum points for uh, dynamic transient analysis. Bring up pick info dialog again and um, the response is displacement magnitude and uh, click on choose datum point set. For dynamic analysis, a curve is plotted for uh, each point. And these curves can be saved to a picture file or a text file using the save as option. Cycle between different points to view the response for each point. Partial dynamic response can be plotted for these curves, which means we can look at the influence of a mode or a set of modes on the overall response. To do that, select a point of interest on the curve. Mode contributions for all the frequencies are listed here. Select a mode of interest. Multiple can also be selected. Click on evaluate response to view the response curve for this mode. And this can be saved to a picture file or a text file using the save as option.